News 10 News, live at 5. Car accidents are the leading killer of teenagers. In fact, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is looking for a way to reduce teenage traffic deaths. A local study is using virtual reality to see whether this method can help teenagers become better drivers and save lives. He almost came in front of me. This virtual video game isn't for enjoyment. It puts teenagers in the driver's seat before they ever get behind the wheel of an actual car. It gets them to see if they're paying attention. These 15-year-old driver education students from Mira Mesa High School are the first to take part in a federal study in which students learn to drive virtually, in addition to the traditional on-the-road driver's training. I got like two car accidents already. There's a gas pedal and a brake pedal. And there are unexpected um, situations that can put a teenager's heart into overdrive. There's actually somebody coming head-on at you. And you think, well, that's pretty dramatic to put a 15-year-old into, but that happens on our freeways in San Diego sometimes. There are pedestrians to look out for. You gotta watch out for people walking by real fast or cars, so you drive slow all the time. There's always an element of surprise. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> During each driving session, mistakes are recorded and students try again. In the beginning, when I tried, I crashed a lot. Last time I did, I didn't crash at all, and so far I haven't crashed yet. Virtual therapist Brenda Wiederhold believes this training is preparing them for the real world. Getting them to learn to drive defensively, to expect the unexpected and know how to deal with that. Because when you're a novice driver, you're great as long as conditions are good. This 15-year-old student says she's staying more focused while behind the virtual steering wheel. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Like, all the time, you, like, when the cars came out of nowhere, they, like, crashed into me. And this young driver is learning why it's so important to obey traffic signs. And I learned a lot of rules about the stop signs and all this <laughs> stuff. It will be three years before researchers find out whether this virtual road will actually make teenagers safer drivers, but they do know one thing already. It's a natural for them to learn in this environment. 800 students will be trained using virtual reality driver's training. You can find uh, out more about the free program by logging on to our website, the San Diego Channel.